This is BTEC Level 3 Art and Design following a textile specialism. So with this course, it is a practical course. Uh, there is a written element to it through analysis, um, but you will explore a variety of different media techniques and develop your ability to communicate your ideas through textile visual outcomes. This course is very similar to the art and design course, but it's a textile outcome. So you'll be learning to sew in more detail. You'll be dyeing, you'll be weaving, you'll be exploring everything in a textile outcome. This is four units over the two years, of which three are mandatory and one is chosen by the school and it equates to one A-level. You will follow the visual recording and communication unit, which is in year 13 in the January. And this is a drawing element that you can draw through stitch. You can draw through applique. So you don't have to physically draw with a pencil. Unit two, critical and contextual studies is in art and design. This is a unit that you will sit in the May of year 12 of which you are given artists in which you have to research and then from that you will have three and a half hours in a specified date to write your response. The creative process is a mandatory unit. Again, this is internally set, not externally set. And from this, this basis is the fundamental running of the whole of the course of which you learn the creative process of the artists that you've been researching and you explore the materials and the methods in which they work and you apply that to your own work. Unit 14 is the textile material techniques and processes. This is the optional unit which is set by the department. They will set and identify the themes in which that you follow and you will do unit 3 and unit 14 over the two years and your work will be then handed in in the December of year 13. You will then follow the visual recording unit in January of year 13. The unit's broken down. This visual recording is an externally set assignment. It's set to you by the exam board with a specific theme. And from that, you're using textile techniques and processes. You will develop your work, which will then be presented in a specific way. And then you will produce an outcome. You will look at artists and explore materials and techniques. And you have about five months in which to do that unit. Unit two is set in the May of year 12 and you have about four weeks in which to research and prepare for this. And then you are then given uh, three and a half hours to write an essay in which you have analysed the work of the artists, compared their work, uh, seen and unseen work, and then you write your response. Unit three, your creative process, it's a practical element and this will run over the two years. And from this, we will teach you workshops from year 12 in the first term developing your textile skills uh, through applique, through stitch, through dyeing, through weaving, knitting, crocheting, whichever, felting, through a variety of different skills, and you'll produce those as workshop samplers. And then from that, you will develop the skills that you wish to explore in more depth. Um, and you will do that from the January through to the April of year 12 and produce a small outcome. From the June of year 12 through the, to the December of year 13, you will again develop your own project based on your own theme, uh, exploring the specialist area you wish to explore within textiles, be it weaving, be it knitting, be it stitch. That's completely up to you. The course structure is that in year 12, you will do textile materials, techniques and processes in the creative process. And then we do unit two, critical and contextual studies, then creative process and Unit 14 takes over again from the end of year 12 all the way through to the December of year 13. And then unit one takes over in the January of year 13. Uh, we require that you have at least a GCSE in either art or textiles um, and you have at least a level four in English. If you have, um, don't have an art or textile uh, course grade, you need to have at least a portfolio so you can show your skills. We're looking for students who are really passionate about the subject, who really love textiles and want to commit to developing their skills further. You need to be able to take risks and be willing to explore uh, and take on new disciplines. Um, and it can be an exciting subject that can lead to fashion, textile construction, theatre design, and interior design, even teaching. This is a list of subject areas and careers that you could consider with a textiles background or an art background. Um, and we expect that all subjects are attended. If you're absent, that you catch up with any work. We hope that you'll be enthusiastic and engaged um, because it's quite a collaborative subject. And to be able to be successful, we ask that you do another five hours of study outside of the classroom each week to ensure that you catch up and are up to date with everything.